Figure 4 shows a sketch of the curve C with equation y equals 5x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11x is greater than or equal to 0. The point P with coordinates 4, 15 lies on C. The line L is the tangent to C at the point P. The region R, shown shaded in figure 4, is bounded by the curve C, the line L and the y-axis. Show that the area of R is 24, making your method clear. So the first thing we would want to do here um, is recognise that because the line L and the curve C cross, uh, or the line L is the tangent to C, um, at the point P, which happens at a y, an x coordinate of 4 uh, and a y coordinate of 15, if we just write the coordinates as 4, 15 here. Um, because the line L is a tangent to C at the point P, what this means is that at the point P, the curve C and the line L have the same gradient. Um, so if we find the grad this gradient that is the same for both of them, then we can find an equation for the line L um, because we already have a point that the line L crosses through, 4, 15, and a gradient means that we can find the equation of the line. So if we do go to do this, um, we want to find the gradient of C at 4, 15 because we know it's the same for L. So to find the gradient of a curve, um, we would want to differentiate the equation of the curve, which is this one here. Um, so if we differentiate this, we say that dy by dx is equal to, and now for 5x to the power of 3 over 2, we multiply the 5 by the 3 over 2. So we multiply the coefficient of x by the power um, and get 15 divided by 2 x. And then we take away 1 from the power. So 3 over 2 take away 1 is a half. Uh, and then we do the exact same for all the others. So minus 9x is the same as minus 9x to the power of 1. So minus 9 times the power, so minus 9 times 1 is still minus 9. Um, but then we have x to the power of 1 take away 0, which is x to the power of 0, which is the same as 1. Um, so it is just minus 9. Uh, and we do the same thing for 11, uh, and we end up with 0, so we can leave it at this. So to find the gradient at the point P, we want to find this gradient when x is equal to 4 because that is the coordinates that we've been given. So at x is equal to 4, the gradient is 15 over 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of a half minus 9. And if we put this into our calculator, we find that the gradient is 6. So now for um, the line L, we know that its gradient is 6 uh, and it passes through a point 4, 15. So if we use the equation of a straight line, which is y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient, bracket x minus x1. And if we put it into this equation, we find where y1 is 15, m is 6, and x1 is 4. Uh, and we rearrange it, we find that y minus 15 is equal to 6x minus 24, and therefore y is equal to 6x minus 9. So we now have the equation of the line L and the line the curve C. And what we can do with these two um, equations is we can actually integrate. So if we look back up at the graph from before, um, we know that integrating uh, is finding the area under a curve. So if we integrated between 0 and 4 for the curve L, we would actually get this area under here and if similarly if we integrated between 0 and 4 but for the curve L um, we would get this area here as well as a negative form of this area under the x-axis and the reason it's negative is because um, its y-coordinates are, are negative so for example if the area of that small triangle was 2 integrating would give us minus 2. Now you may be able to see here that all the bits that were in yellow um, that we didn't want that weren't part of R were then highlighted in purple and the one bit that we did need to add to this um, to find R is the bit 
under the x-axis that would come out as a negative value. Um, so you may be able to see that therefore, if we were to integrate the curve, the equation of the curve C, uh, if we integrated that between 0 and 4, and then took away from that the integration between 0 and 4 again of the line L, we would actually find the area R. Uh, and that's because um, it would take away this big rectangle, uh, triangle that we have here. It would take that away from our area. And it would also add on this small triangle here. And the reason it would add on is because if we're taking away a negative, this um, leads to addition. So if we go and do this and we integrate between the limits of 4 and 0, the curve C, which has equation 5x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11. And then we're taking away from that the same thing, integrating between the limits of 4 and 0, but this time just the equation of L, which we have just found to be 6x minus 9. So if, first of all, we concentrate on um, integrating the curve C. Um, so to integrate, we add 1 to the power. So adding 1 to 3 over 2 gives us 5 over 2. And then we do 5 divided by 5 over 2. Divide the coefficient by the power. So we're left with 2x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 9 over 2x to the power of 2. Doing the exact same thing. And... 11x and this is all still between the limits of 4 and 0 and now if we go back to uh, the line L um, integrating 6x minus 9 gives us 6 divided by 2 which is 3x squared minus 9x between 4 and 0 again so now what we do is we substitute in firstly 4 for x and then take away substituting in 0 for x. So 2 times by 4 to the power of 5 over 2 minus 9 over 2 multiplied by 4 squared plus 11 multiplied by 4. And then this is take away um, 0 being substituted in for all of these x values. But what we can see is, since these are all numbers multiplied by x, if x is 0, these are all numbers multiplied by 0, which gives us 0. So we actually, we can write minus 0, but we don't need to write out the whole thing. And now what we do, if we want to take the line L, is we do the exact same thing. So 3 times by 4 squared minus 9 multiplied by 4, uh, and then we have the same problem, which uh, which is that substituting in 0 just gives us 0 again. So we don't need to write that out again. And we're left with this. So now if we do some calculations, uh, putting the first sum into our calculator gives us 36. And then 36 take away 0 is just 36 still. Uh, and then the integration of line L uh, gives us 12, so we're taking away 12, uh, and this leaves us with 24, um, which if we scroll back up to the question, is what we were asked to show. Uh, so we can conclude with saying that the area of R is 24, and we don't know units, so we can't give a unit squared. So there's quite a lot of marks up for this question, 10 marks. Um, so our first mark comes from differentiating um, the equation of curve C to give us this. Uh, so we get a method mark and an answer mark. So this should be two marks um, just for differentiating this. And then we get a further method mark for substituting in uh, x equals 4 and finding that the gradient is 6. Um, we then get another mark for finding that the equation for line L is 6x, y equals 6x minus 9. 
uh, and the actual method we use for solving that. So we get two marks uh, for using this method and then actually giving the right answer for this. Um, we get a further method mark now for saying that the area of R is equal to, and then this big um, formula here we have uh, of integration. We get a method mark for writing that out and then a further answer mark for solving it, more specifically getting this bit right of the integration because that's the more challenging um, part. So that's another answer mark there. And then actually solving the um, equation gives us a further method mark. Um, and then our second to last mark is our answer mark. So showing that the area of R is indeed equal to 24. Uh, and we actually get our last mark for just having the correct notation uh, and like fully explaining our answer through our working. So showing a full working out with the correct notation um, actually gives us our last mark. 